Hey everyone, choosing the right 3D modeling tool can be tough. Today we're diving into Vectory, Blender, and Spline to see what they offer and which is best for your needs. Let's go. Vectory is a browser-based 3D modeling tool perfect for beginners and teams. Its intuitive interface, real-time collaboration, and extensive library of 3D models make it great for quick prototypes and web-based projects. It also supports augmented reality and 3D printing, but advanced features require a subscription. Blender is a free, open-source powerhouse for 3D modeling, animation, rendering, and more. It's used by professionals for films, games, and detailed designs. It's the Deep learning curve can be intimidating, but its versatility and huge community make it unmatched for complex projects. Spline is a web-based tool focused on creating interactive 3D web designs. It's beginner-friendly with a 2D-like approach to 3D, real-time animations, and easy integration into websites. However, it's less suited for detailed modeling or offline work. So, how do they stack up? Vectory shines for quick, collaborative web projects and AR, but lacks Blender's depth. Blender is the go-to for professional-grade work, think animations, games, or intricate models, but it's complex. Spline excels at simple, interactive web designs perfect for UI UX designers, but it's limited for heavy 3D tasks. Beginners, Spline or Vectory for ease of use. If you're a professional, Blender for unmatched power. Web designers, Spline for interactive 3D. Or collaborators, Vectory for team workflows. Check out the comparison chart below to pick your tool. Like and subscribe for more tech breakdowns, and I'll see you next time.